Welcome to the Open3D Engine YouTube channel. I'm Alex Demarjan, a technical trainer with the AWS Game Tech team. In this video, you're going to learn about O3DE's visual scripting language, Script Canvas, how to navigate the Script Canvas interface, and how to create a simple script. Now, one quick point before we begin, and this is in respect to the open source nature of O3DE. The Open3D Engine community is constantly updating the engine with new features and updates. So check back often for more O3D related content. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Script Canvas is a visual scripting environment for O3DE that you can use to create game logic and behaviors. Integrated with O3DE's component entity system, Script Canvas offers an approachable and easy to read environment to author behaviors using the same framework as Lua and C++. With its visual scripting options, you can use Script Canvas to create scripts for game logic without needing to know how to code. Event-driven scripts let you produce small scripts that don't require complex logic to maintain states. Script Canvas is also an extensible system. You can build your own reusable Script Canvas functions and, since Script Canvas is based on AZ Core, you can create custom Script Canvas nodes that use the serialization, reflection, and modularization and eBus messaging systems. Before we can jump in and examine the Script Canvas interface, we must enable the Script Canvas gem and its dependencies. This is done by selecting the appropriate Script Canvas gems, clicking Confirm, and rebuilding your engine. For more information about gems or how to rebuild your engine, check out the links in the description below. Now that we have the Script Canvas gem installed, let's take a look at a couple ways of how we can get the Script Canvas editor up and running. At the top menu bar, you'll find the Tools menu. Within it, you can find Script Canvas. Let's go ahead and click on it. This will open up the Script Canvas editor. I'm going to show you another way of doing it that I prefer. Let's go ahead and close this out. Locate the Entity Outliner in the left-hand side of the screen. Right-click, select Create Entity. Now, under the Entity Inspector in the right-hand side, we're going to go ahead and rename this to SC underscore Fun, which is really just stands for Script Canvas Fun. Below it, find the Add Component button and go ahead and select that. You can find Script Canvas within the menu or by entering Script Canvas within the search field. I'm going to go ahead and select Script Canvas. Now, another way of opening up the editor is with the Open in Script Canvas Editor button. Let's begin by looking at some basics of the editor's view. Under the File menu, you can create, save, and open your scripts. Under Edit, we have some traditional options like Cut, Copy, or Undo Actions. Under View, you can change the overall editor view within Script Canvas. Tools opens and closes certain tabs. And Preferences, we can adjust the different preferences. We'll get into these a little bit more in detail in another video. Now, our various scripts are stored in tabs. You can click on these to switch between them. In the Node palette, you can search for specific types of nodes. We'll get into what nodes are in a second. You can drag a node from the Node palette to the canvas or right-click to the canvas for the menu to appear. So for instance, in AI, under Navigation, if I want to use this node, I can drag it out. I can also right-click and I can type Find path to entity and you can see that it auto populates and finds the node for me that way too. Notice nodes have certain values that can be adjusted and you can specify these values for the parameters. You can also drag to connect nodes. Up in the right hand corner we have our variable manager where we can create variables of different data types. Don't be too concerned if you're not familiar with these data types yet. In future videos we're going to be creating some pretty exciting and involved scripts. Now in the node inspector, you can view and modify the properties for a selected node. A great way of learning how to navigate the script canvas interface is with creating a simple script. No beginner programming example would be complete without the customary hello world example. I'm going to save my new script as hello world. Next, I'm going to drag in the on graph start node. This node fires off the code sequence once the script is called in the editor. Next, Find your variable manager at the top right hand corner of the screen. We're going to create a new variable with a string data type. Let's call this hello world. In the node inspector below, we can edit the value of the hello world variable. I'm going to have it store the words hello world. Now, there are several ways we can access the hello world variable node. 
One way is by dragging it onto the graph and clicking on the Get Hello World option. Let's look at an alternative way of doing this. Delete it by either pressing the delete key on your keyboard or by holding the alt key down and left clicking on the node. A great node that I use fairly often for debugging and testing is the print node. Right click on your graph and type print. Now we can drag our variable onto the value slot of our print node and it will reference the value stored in the string. Now, in order to get the print node to function, we need to connect our output pin from our on graph start to the input pin of our print node. Now when we press play in our editor, you can see it prints the value stored in the hello world variable to the console. In this video, we explored the script canvas visual scripting language and editor. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll discuss more O3DE related content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.